if you have your south node in Scorpio, let's say, and Pluto, which rules that south node, is being hit by a conjunction with Neptune, stand back because karma is ripening and you can break your karma or you can repeat it. Now, I made this introduction because I want to look at the transits and progressions that were going on in Hitler's chart on the day that he became leader of the National Socialist Party. And his chart was just being bombarded by planets that were triggering his whole self node story. It's like the universe was saying, are you going to repeat this? Or are you going to make some steps towards you know, your evolution? Are you going to change? Are you going to become more conscious of your hangups, of your hangups, well, of your unresolved issues that you brought into this lifetime? Hmm. Could, you know what the answer is to that, but let's look at what was going on because there's always something to learn. Okay, so first thing I see is Mercury is forming an exact conjunction to Hitler's North Node, meaning by implication, it's opposing his South Node. Uh, Mercury is the natural ruler of the third house. So definitely a good time, a very persuasive, very powerful time for Hitler. If he wants to get a message across, you know, people are going to listen. So what is Hitler going to communicate on this day? Well, of course, that depends on whether he has worked on his South Node issues or not. And obviously he didn't. Mercury is, is fast moving. So when we're looking at big karmic times, many times there's a slow moving planet, like check out this Pluto that's about to oppose. It's already in opposition to the moon and Jupiter. Those uh, slow moving planets, that's the theme that's coming up, that's surfacing now, okay? And, and the fast-moving planet can tell us about, more specifically, when this theme is going to erupt, okay? So Pluto snails along, you know, very slowly, affecting them in some unconscious way, because Pluto is the god of hell and the underworld. It's the unconscious hell inside, okay? And then Mercury comes along, and you can transmute your thoughts and your ideas. You can put them into language, whatever is bubbling inside of them. Now, what is Pluto? asking and it triggers an important part in our chart not to mention one of the nodes Pluto is about deep transformation that is not necessarily easy because it's the ruler of scorpio it's all the uncomfortable things that we um carry in our uh psyche pluto has to do with power or with the lack of power so we can become very powerful at pluto, in pluto times or we can fall because um the forces are just too much for us to bear. So the high manifestation of Pluto would be that you go through this not very easy, like therapy, like digging deep and looking at your the dark side inside of you, whether you were a victim or a victimizer, everything that you've pushed away from your consciousness to, because you have to live, you know, uh, surfaces in Pluto times. But if you're going to deal with that and you're going to face your issues, you're going to come out, you're going to ascend from that hell and be wiser and be more powerful. You're going to own yourself more than you did before. You're going to come into your power. Yeah. But what are you going to do with that power, right? You can you can become a wiser person, a more powerful person as a, as a guide to others, as a role model, or you can abuse your power and use the others, right? I would say, I mean, it's obvious that what Adolf Hitler did was the he used the energy of Pluto to seize power and to abuse that power. Another very important transit that we see here is Neptune. And Neptune on this day and during this time was conjunct Hitler's Saturn. Okay, Saturn is very significant because it's the ruler of his south node Capricorn. The traditional interpretation of Saturn in the 10th house indicating someone who rose to the top and then lost everything. So I think you can say that there was this unconscious drive to finish what he had begun, if you believe in reincarnation. And this time, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it right. And um, the advantage of, of having Leo, you know, energy, uh, you know, is very charismatic. It's very good at performing and, and persuading the crowds and this circle of energy that you say something or express yourself in some form or fashion, you receive the applause, you receive the approval, and then this fires you up more. So that's leaving Saturn there is you're seen as 
this wise person in this arena. You know what you're talking about. You've earned the respect. You have the authority. Saturn is being triggered by Neptune. Okay, so Neptune is this complete opposite of the Saturn energy. Saturn is about the principle of reality, forging ahead and overcoming difficulties, you know, and standing upright. In medical astrology, Saturn is the skeletal system that enables us to stand. Now, Neptune comes along and on its high road, again, Neptune is about, it's the god of the ocean. It's about this knowing that we're part of something vaster, okay? That each and every one of us is like a drop that falls into the ocean and uh, merges with the ocean. So it's a loss of ego. Uh, It's spiritualistic energy. Now, Neptune on its more trickster side, okay? You see, a, you can see a very strong Neptune signature in the charts of uh, actors because Neptune can create this sense of glamour and a fuzziness where a person is put on, on a pedestal. One of its shadows can be um, illusion, deceit, uh, glamour that is not based on anything real. So Neptune comes along and, and on the high manifestation asks for letting letting go, really like uh, liquidizing Saturn. And what Hitler does is he uses uh, that Neptunian energy to receive the adoration of the masses, and thus he becomes a dictator. So this is a good example, uh, very unfortunately for humanity, of someone who completely manifested the dark, the shadow uh, archetype of all the planets. So... Let me know if you have thoughts. I'm sure there's so much more to say and so many different astrological insights and approaches. If you want, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you like this content. And thanks for being here.